Hey guys, it's summertime and I'm so, so super hot. <gasps> it's so hot outside. To cool off, I'm playing with ice, but it keeps melting, look. See, look, it just keeps melting. What do I do? <gasps> I have an idea. Heck, the penguin is a penguin, so she should be an expert on ice. Heck, can you make it a meltable ice for me? Gosh, hi Ryan, what's up? So, I've been trying to play with these ices to cool off from outside, but they keep melting. Do you know a way to make an unmeltable ice? According to my research, that's pretty hard, but I have some ideas that just might work. Thank you, Beck. Welcome to Ryan's world. Oh boy, I can't wait to test out my hypothesis. First, we need a bowl. Now to pour in some of these ice cubes. Woohoo! And this special bucket will stop them from melting. Now we wait. Hey, Peck, what you got going on? Wait a second. Whoa. Are you doing a science experiment without me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing an experiment for Ryan, trying to see if I can get this ice to stop melting. Hmm. Well, let's see what you got going on. Hmm. Wait. Uh, Peck? Hmm. I don't think this is working very well. Oh gosh, I guess it didn't really work out. <laughs> Wait, if you're looking to make hot ice, I know how to make that. And we have everything we need back at the lab. Really? Let's go. Teleport. We made it to the lab. Now, let's start on this amazing experiment. So, what do we do first? Well, First, we need to get our ingredients. Ingredients, hooray! What are these awesome ingredients? All right, well the ingredients are baking soda and vinegar. What? Baking soda and vinegar? Those sound like normal ingredients. I thought they were gonna be awesome. <laughs> Heck, these are awesome because you can make a really cool science experiment with just these household objects. Hmm, well, okay, the process must be pretty cool and complicated then. What do we need, Bree? Actually, all we need is just a cooktop and a pot. Well, Ryan is expecting something pretty cool. I might just go, uh, test out another experiment. Be back later, Bree. Bye, Peck. Good luck. While he's doing that, we can get started. Of course, with the help of an adult, like me. So the first step is four cups of vinegar into the pot. So we're gonna count together. Ready, guys? One, two, three, and four. <laughs> Next, we're gonna add four tablespoons of baking soda. One. All right, all the baking soda is dissolved. That means we can add our second tablespoon. Now, we have to be very slow with the baking soda because if we add too much at once, we're gonna get a huge eruption like a baking soda and vinegar volcano. So it's been about one hour and we're just now starting to see the skin forming on top of our solution. So that means it is time to take it off of the heat and put it in our container. Now we need to cover it up and seal it off nice and tight. Bree, Bree, I heard your experiment is ready. Uh, well actually, we have to wait for this to cool to room temperature before we can test it out, which is gonna take about 30 minutes in the refrigerator. Sorry, Peck. 30 minutes? Uh, hmm. See you back in 30? No way. 30 minutes later. It's been 30 minutes. That's right, that means it's finally time to Test out our hot ice. Let's get started. Da -da -da. First, we've got to collect some crystals from the inside of our pot. Now, these were left after we got finished boiling our solution. Now, we're gonna take our crystals and put them on our plate. Ooh, crystals. Are you guys ready for the fun part? Okay, we have to be very careful in taking off our cover. Make sure we don't disturb our solution. And then we're gonna attempt to pour it all right on top of our crystals. But wait, the liquid is becoming ice. That's spectacular. 
Whoa! The ice is starting to stack upwards! The ice is taking over the beaker! Now that we've tested our experiment, let's take a look at the science behind these amazing crystals that make hot ice. We can get a really close look with PectoVision. When we mix baking soda and vinegar, something special happens. The baking soda breaks down to help form sodium acetate. You know it's working because the CO2 leaves as bubbles. <laughs> but then, all that's left is a lot of water and sodium acetate. So we gotta slowly boil the water and watch it evaporate. The crystals forming on the top let us know that just enough water had evaporated. That means we just made a super saturation solution. Once most of the water leaves, we then cool the liquid that's left, and it becomes a super cool liquid. It really wants to be icy and solid, but it isn't ready yet. With the help of some crystals, an exothermic reaction can happen, and that makes hot eyes. experiment was great and that's how you make hot ice Ryan mm -hmm. and the really cool thing is is after you make it you can just reheat it in the microwave and test it over and over and over again oh gosh let's do another test you got it Peck ready such things existed. That is so cool. I'm not sure I can play with that ice, but it looks pretty awesome. Way better than my meltable ice. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video about unmeltable ice and meltable ice. Meltable ice might not be cool, but you know what's cooler than meltable ice? Bubbles! Whoa! Bye!